Welcome to the Pat Cave. I'm your host, Pat Clark, and today we try something different. You know, I feel like I've seen every superhero movie or show that exists, but sometimes a few slip through the cracks. I mean, it's bound to happen in the vast world of platforms known as the multi-stream. Who are you? So today's new segment is called Highly Recommended. It's where I give my thoughts and opinions about superhero content that you might not have seen or haven't seen in a while. But before we get started, make sure to Hulk smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode. Okay, let's get it going. So my first recommendation is called Unknown Origins on Netflix. A very chiseled but somber detective must find a serial killer who leaves clues that only his mentor's nerdy comics loving son can decipher. Unknown Origins. So when I watched this, I was not expecting much, but wow, this was a fun ride. It was packed with superhero references that the villain leaves for not only the detective, but the audience as well. I'm not a big fan of subtitles, so I went with the English dub version because the original was filmed in Spanish. Now, anytime there's something like this outside of Marvel or DC, it makes me feel a bit more connected to the story because there's a chance it could happen in my universe. I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? I you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Like, I think this would be a killer HBO Max series. If they leaned into the darker side, kind of like True Detective, I, I think that'd be great. I'm here for it. I think you'd be here for it as well. Anyway, with all that being said, I'm gonna give this a Pat Cave score of 8.2 out of 10. Highly recommended. 616 is a Disney Plus docu-series that takes a deep dive into Marvel's universe and the effect it has on our own. The series has eight episodes, each made by a different filmmaker, and I really enjoyed learning more about some of my favorite characters. I also like seeing fans like myself embrace this pop culture wave that is Marvel fandom. I hope they do a second season of this because I'll definitely be tuning in. I give this a Pat Cave score of 7.2 out of 10. Highly recommended. I think we all remember our first Power Ranger or Barbie, Lego set or G.I. Joe, whatever it was those things still have a special place in our heart. The Toys That Made Us is a Netflix docu-series that takes a look behind the scenes of your favorite childhood toys. This one's been on Netflix for a while, so if you haven't seen it, get on it. When I first started watching, I just picked episodes that I knew I would like, uh, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, but the storytelling was so good that I ended up watching every episode. Like, I never owned a My Little Pony or a Star Trek toy, but I found the stories about how they were created fascinating. The people and the effort that went into these little bits of plastic makes this a great binge watch. That's why I'm going to give this a Pat Cave score of 8.5 out of 10. Highly recommended. So I did save my favorite recommendation for last, and that is Tron Uprising. If this show had more seasons, it'd be right up there with Last Airbender for me. Now this futuristic adventure takes place in a computer world on The Grid where a young program named Beck starts a revolution. Now, I was not a fan of the Tron movies. They didn't do it for me, okay? Okay? But after seeing this series, it showed me the possibilities and the stories within this Tron universe. Now, I'm sure there's a petition out there somewhere to bring back this show because they have some loyal fans. I, I should say, we are some loyal fans. Whoa, look who's here. So there's three big reasons why I love this show. First is the art and animation. The colors, the framing, I mean, all of it is just beautiful. The show actually won an Emmy for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Animation. I actually wrote a paper on this back in college. Back in college, it was a film aesthetics class and the teacher was not happy that I picked an animated series for it, but he saw my reasoning. My second reason is the voice acting and script. It's so well written and Elijah Wood, who plays the lead character Beck, does a fantastic job. And the rest of this cast is outstanding as well. Mandy Moore, Bruce Boxlitner, Aaron Paul, and John Glover, just to list a few. Sometimes when watching an animated series, the script can be a little dumbed down, but this one had me on the edge of my seat and intrigued the whole time. Cliffhangers left and right, man. My third reason for loving this show is the whole superhero aspect of his outfit, the parkour, his weapons, the hideout, all of it together gives me this impression that Tron is a superhero. And that's why I gave Tron Uprising a Pat Cave score of 9.4 out of 10. Highly recommend.
recommended. So that does it for our first episode of Highly Recommended. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you go watch some of these. And if you have seen them, let me know in the comments if you like them as much as I did. I want to see those scores. And while you're down there, hit that like button and share with your fellow nerds. All right, guys, thanks for visiting the Pat Cave. share with your local nerds local local nerds yeah don't share with nobody that you don't know highly recommended highly recommended brah <laughs> <laughs>